trailer needs to be that that way. No, that's downhill. I know. We don't want to be downhill. Well, we don't have any brakes. We don't want to be downhill. So we're going to go downhill and uphill. What we're going to do is we're going to pull it up to here and I'll hook it with the winch and then we'll just go from there. You know what? We have wasted so much time talking about this. It should already be on the trailer. I already had it. It's in my head on the trailer. Okay. You're arguing good. with me. <laughs> We're at DFW Airport. We're not taking the red eye flight. It's dark. We're taking the last flight out, like 9:48. We're gonna land in Nashville, close to midnight. And we are rescuing an incredibly rare cougar. We haven't done a cougar in a while, so grab your cup of joe and let's go. Let's go, Nashville. Me yet. Grab your cup of joe and let's go rescue an incredibly rare cougar. <laughs> well, you don't see that every day, Zach. Not only is it a cougar, it's a GT. Ow. Park the care behind the eye. It is really rare to see a cougar, especially a GT style steel wheels and we're gonna walk up and I'm sure you guys figure it out it's got a very special engine in it let's go check it out I know what you told me over the phone of the car yeah that's an S-Code 390 yeah uh, what else you know about it nothing I got not... <laughs> when was the last time it ran uh, just a day or so ago it'll start oh now. really it'll start oh yeah there. just no brakes there's no brakes now so it's an S code 390 factory four speed car. Yes. Well, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this car needs to be restored. Yeah. So there were 81,000 Cougars in 1968. Good luck, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I have good luck. Hey, hey, I hear you. No, so you got. Are you, you know, saying there's holes in this plan? Uh, well, no, yeah, I mean, if, if, if you look at this, I mean, you've, you've got a. You got a real S code car, Sean, which you know is a 390. Oh, yeah, right. that's right. And people really covet, you know, the 390 fastbacks because right. they were bullet cars. Right, you know? exactly. But however, the Mercury is, as far as a pony car, is right. one level up from a Mustang right. as far as luxury. Right. You know? So, but so we're already, three, having a 390 is huge. Well, right. there was only 1,500 390 Cougars. Right. There were. 20,000 390 Mustangs. I don't know right. what the exact number is, right. big number. Right. But out of those 1,500, only 400 were four speed right. cars. That's crazy. So you, know, you, got, you, got, you, got, you got a five here, Sean, for the trans. Yep. So this is a factory four speed car. Right. And then you got a G, which is cool. So that's, that's a yeah, 3, 325 color. limited slip. So it's got it, it's got a limited slip so rear, which in. is nice. Yeah. Um, and it's a GT. Yeah, exactly. I've never seen a GT in the Merc. Yep, that's a GT. Well, so out of the 1,500 390 cars, 400 four-speed cars, in the GTs, I think there was 20. <laughs> that would explain why. Uh, there's one thing this car's missing that, because uh, I, I did the research on the car. Right. This car had factory headrest. It did? Which is incredibly it's, rare. Uh, so the seats have been recovered and somebody took the headrest out. Oh, uh, okay. What are the holes there? Uh, I don't know, it's feeling. No, I didn't, I didn't think so. I mean, it didn't have it, it didn't have that when I purchased it. And we could probably start it up if you got a, you got an extra well, I'd, battery, I'd love to hear it run. some jumper cables. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you can find it. Okay. But it looks like your battery's. I see the dome light on. Yeah, it's got a little juice to it, but I just gonna. I mean, if you got some cables, we can jump it off the truck. I'm sure we can. This is also, if you look on here on the paint paint code, Sean. Yeah. Which it looks like original paint. It is Cardinal 
cardinal red so according to the color markers. code T for Mustang was candy apple red. Candy apple red. Okay. But for this car, you're correct. It's cardinal it's car red. Cardinal red. red. Uh, uh, darker. Which is, I think probably the same color. <laughs> it's just Mercury doing that. Exactly. Love the wheels. Well, yeah, everything's uh, pretty much stock on it. I mean, it almost screams Cobra. Sean, there's only 20 390 S-Code four-speed GTs ever built. One, and that's a rare car. Where are the other 19? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, they need one more of them, and we could probably get one out of two. <laughs> there you go. Right. Well, get the hood up, Sean P. Um, where's the last? It's all the way down under the bumper. Uh, my back is messed up. Dash vents here is nice. Going. So oh, uh, wow, I took that dash that. cover off. It was horrendous. That's ready to start. That's right. You just need a battery. I got my fuel system set. Original carburetors on there. That's oh, and really thing, cool. It's got, it's got a new gas tank. But the, the chainsaw, really? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I grabbed what I had, you know. Well, I think that's since the radiator's out. Uh, it will. I mean, you know, we can start it up and run it. I, I don't think it's we need to. Get hot. I don't think we need to. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to pay you what we discussed over the phone. I'm happy with it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. I'm glad. So you got a deal. Yeah. You know what, Sean? We can crank it what? up. You, you well, let's crank it up. Yeah. Let's do it. We might as well. You got a, Sean's just, not shy. Yeah. Uh, let you me see. might need jumper cables <laughs> in your Jeep. Uh, you want to put the ramps down? Uh, you want to start you need it? a hand? You want to start what can it? I do for you? You want to start it first or do you want to put the ramps down? No, I'm going to buy it anyway, so we don't have to start it if you don't want well, to. We don't have to start it. Okay. I believe it runs. I believe that too. We can start it if you want to. It's up to you. Well, if he's got jumper cables in his trunk, let's start it. So, unfortunately, the majority of these cars have been parted out because the drivetrains are so valuable. Right, exactly. Hey, everybody wants a Mustang. I don't know why. I like well, the better. Yeah. Well, I like the Mustang better myself, but you know, it is what it is. Here's my point. I think somebody's going to build this. Power steering, power brakes, 394 speed, 325 track lock car. That's pretty cool. The shifter is uh, stiff. Okay. It's just been sitting so long. I've got a, I've got a little block. Hit it. What do you think, Sean? Started. How about now? Nope, it's dead. How about now? Nope. How about now? Nope. How about now? Nope. How about now? You know what? David, it doesn't matter. I'm going to buy it anyways. <laughs> okay. Well, I just want to. It runs quiet. Yeah. Oh, it's smooth. <laughs> That drives out all right. I, I drove it from disc brakes, four speed, original shifter, original shift knob. Super cool. That's okay, Sean. We'll I should have listened to you in the first place, and I didn't even try to start. Try it one more time. Okay, we'll try it one more time. Somebody do something. Come on, buddy. Somebody Crank help me. <laughs> it, it just needs a battery. Okay, never mind. Original radio still in the car. I think it's cool. What a great day to be alive. Somebody's got to do it. Might as well be us, right? You could probably bump start it. What a beautiful right. day in Tennessee. We got we have two winches. Hey, I, <laughs> I, I drove it from around back to here. So. Did you really? Oh, yeah. When I got around here, I realized I didn't have any brakes. And uh, That's was, just a detail. There was a guy blocking me going up the street. So I went down the street, and I got stopped just around the corner. And the good thing there wasn't any cars coming. Well, well, well what's the plan from here? I'll put the Jeep there in case it rolls backwards. It can roll in the Jeep. No, we'll, we'll the Jeeps chuck, are we'll tough. Chuck it. I got some chocks. No, we'll chuck it. I got some chocks in the truck. The chalk or chuck? That doesn't make me feel real comfortable right there. The chuck? It's not very big. Hey, man. It's not the size. I can't take him anywhere, <laughs> man. <laughs> He's got a three two barrel intake, which we're known for buying those. Let's go check that out. Freak Zach out because Zach's in the motorcycles. Are you? <laughs> I already skipped it out. I'll sell you a cheap, a nice little Honda with only 318 miles on it. Okay. Ran one part. 500 bucks and it runs. You have the gas tank in the seat? I do. They're right here. All right, well, let's check out the intake. 358 miles. And what size is this? It's a 200 Rebel. 
revel without a cause. <laughs> it's almost like a mini purple rain machine. Right? <laughs> you can see it on that side. Is it sliding in over there? It just slides on. Oh, there we go. All right, so this is off a of Y block. Yeah, Y block forward. So that would be Thunderbird. Really cool for T Bird, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's really cool. How much is that, sir? Uh, take uh, 400 for it. And not penny less. That, that's a bargain. You know that's 600 bucks sitting there. Brand new two barrels, too. There's got to be at least a little wiggle room. we got to buy dinner tonight. Oh, well, you know, hey. 600. <laughs> no. How about 400 a piece? 800 for the motorcycle and the intake. You got it. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, now, are you interested in that uh, 340 stuff? The stock intake and heads off of 340. 1970. I am not, but we are definitely, sure taking, that. That? We're definitely got, taking the motorcycle. You bought that, that uh, what was it, uh, Charger, that 340? Yes, sir. But it's, is it stock? Is it all stock? Here's the problem that I, I currently have, that I'm told that I have. <laughs> <laughs> right, both of these guys and everybody else. We're gonna talk about I have one. too much stuff. Yeah, we're, we're gonna talk about hey, one. You can never have, you never have too much stuff. You know, right? Oh well. All the buildings are full. All the garages are full. And the junkyards full. Yes. Let's see if I can find the heads for that. Yeah, that'd be cool. Absolutely. I think I think they're over here somewhere. Uh, no, those are the heads. So we are in the picks and shovels mode right now. That's right. That is outstanding, and I love the motorcycle. Yeah, it's a fun one. Three hundred. Does that allow? Uh, it does, yes. Boom. Even better. Yeah, I have titles for it. I never buy anything without Look a title. Look that is outstanding. Oh, <laughs> a 358 mile CM200T in a Y block intake tricarb. Let's see if I can get over here. That's picks and shovels. We're picking. <laughs> We're doing something. You have another beautiful load, Sean. That's not quite as cool as the XL600, but it's pretty cool. Oh, that'll do. Low miles. Goodbye. All right. Well, you know what it is. I knew it was going to be a great day. I just knew something cool was going to happen. Oh, that's dope. Beautiful. So a set of vintage Offenhauser headers for Y Block, which arguably the best place to use that intake of this would be on a T-Bird. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Those are great, Dave. Which one this is? Oh, you're just going to keep picking stuff out. Well. These are heads, but I think they're the Dodge heads, not the Ford. Sorry, I can't get it I'm out of breath. Oh, yeah. All right, well, you want us to get up there? Yeah, if you want to pull one of those boxes down and see which one of those Shot looks at me like, really? I guess I'm the one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm the oldest guy in here, so I don't have to do it. I don't know if that's weird. Oh, well, there's another box here. Yeah, sure. Great day to be alive and a There's great one find. Head in each box. And we just increased so, Zach's hey, personal you, motorcycle collection by another you one. Get you some of that, Caitlin. Look, if it's blue, it's <laughs> She's going to kill me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Sean, I'm going to make you a deal. Okay. I'll load the intake and the valve covers, and you load the car and the motorcycle. No. No. <laughs> Who's going to load them? Well, I mean, I load the car, but I need somebody in the car to make sure it doesn't run away because it's going to go downhill. Well, it has no brakes, but I'll do that. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. That's all I need. I'll sit in the car. Okay. Just be careful. <laughs> somebody do something around here. Might as well be Dennis. Whatever. Check this out. The motorcycle has a title. Looks like Zach's buying dinner tonight. Woo hoo hoo! We're going, we're going to the same place as last night. <laughs> yeah. well, good luck with that. I had a twenty dollars cheeseburger. You know, I hate. Let's stick it in a box. Hold see? on. Oh, are we sticking in the car? Sorry, right, car. Absolutely, sir. Have you seen with the CM four hundred automatic spring? Well, the Prince bike? Yeah. Uh, probably it's probably like a like a mini Prince bike right here. Yeah, they're pretty stupid. Coming a thing, motorcycles and multiple carburetor setups. We're in, let us know. 
trailer needs to be that that way. No, that's downhill. I know. We don't want to be downhill. Well, we don't have any brakes. We don't want to be downhill. So we're going to go downhill and uphill. What we're going to do is we're going to pull it up to here and I'll hook it with the winch and then we'll just go from there. You know what? We have wasted so much time talking about this. It should already be on the trailer. I already had it. It's in my head on the trailer. Okay. You're arguing good. with me. <laughs> So I'm trying not to look 60 years old, so I copied Zach's shoes. Look what he's got on. <laughs> Is it working? Is it working? <laughs> okay, keep it straight, Dave. How's it drive, Dave? Yeah, like a, like a forks and tractor. <laughs> Sean is so serious. You know I'm gonna ask. I know you are. All right, where's your favorite place to eat locally? Uh, uh, inside the house, over in the kitchen. Did you make us breakfast? I will if you want to. <laughs> hey, I got eggs and bacon. There you go. Hey, and some grits. I love grits. <laughs> A little bit of cheese, salt, there pepper. It. There you go. Perfect. Uh, I really don't know. Kevin and I don't get out much. You don't? Nah. Okay. Which, seriously, I would tell you if I had a clue. So it, there's no local mom and pop thing? Not really. Okay. Not really. I mean, there's a good Mexican place, but uh, I mean, it's hours before there. So, sir, for the first time in 236 episodes, we got thrown under the bus. That's correct. So thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> So the whole farm's got brisket, pork, chicken, ribs. Sounds like everything on the farm, huh? Yeah, what are we missing? <laughs> okay, what are we missing? Beautiful. Look at that. There you go. Okay. So we're at Puckett's in downtown Nashville because that was the most recommended place by our followers. So thank you guys for recommending it. Let's check it out. That is a pimento cheese fried ball. You see that every day, do you? Wow. It's two weeks in a row of pimento cheese on the show. That is rare. Is it hot? Uh, yes, sir. Then we got brisket nachos. Oh, I'm really hot. <laughs> got your chicken choppy? Yep. Gotta get one with brisket on it, though. Hang on. Making a mess. Helping it looks hot. So far, so good, and fresh root beer. Well, the pimento cheese balls were great. The brisket nachos were great. Let me get that out of the way. Now we're gonna you, move on. All right, Josie, what do we got now? The meatloaf. Meatloaf. I didn't realize we was already on film. I didn't mean to interrupt you like that. That meatloaf, that's the gravy with the mushroom and onion gravy on the side. Uh, so that goes over the top, typically. I got another side of brown gravy for you for your mashed potatoes, an extra plate here. So it's we were thick. reading about the meatloaf. Yes. You cook it like regular meatloaf and then you put it on the grill? So they, it's all cherry wood smoked. So they got the okay. peppers and onions and everything in there. All have already been smoked. Then they put it in the meat and re-smoke it uh, for about six hours. Wow. Um, that's a lot of work for me. Pull it out. Not yet. Yeah, it's good though. But it's, it's worth some it. Of my I think that's my number one thing on the menu. Now let me pull out one more stop for you. Give me a second. All oh, right. Somewhere. Oh, did y'all not? Oh, sorry, y'all. That should have been done in the first place. It's all right. We ate it with our fingers. The iced tea is great. I think you put too much sugar in yours. Man, you never have too much sugar. <laughs> now you can't get away without honestly anything you have on the table. This stuff right here is the best sauce in the house. <laughs> All right. Y'all enjoy? I'm Bucket's excited for pepper you. sauce. We're going to try it. Oh, yeah, man. So this is a supposedly the best meatloaf on the planet. And start to finish, it takes six hours to do that. So we're doing Best Buy first? You know what? There's a lot of cool stuff on Zach's plate, but I think we're doing Best Buy. It's got to be the meatloaf. I'm in. But you want some bucket sauce? Put it on there. You want to plug it? Uh oh. Oh, it's a bit much, but. Okay. 
my best bite has got to be meatloaf, but you got to have mashed potatoes, Sean. Well, no, I'm going to do the gravy and onions. I'm going to do the mushroom gravy. I'm out well, on that. Whatever. So we have two different best bites. We'll see what, so let's see what happens. Meatloaf that takes six hours to prepare. Wow. That is amazing. That is outstanding. That melts in your mouth. I'll do another one real quick. Sauce is good too. So we had the whole farm, which is fantastic. Yes. But my favorite and Sean's favorite was the meatloaf. Oh. The meatloaf's uh, definitely killer. I can see six uh, hours with it. Brisket in it, six hours it on cherry wood. Uh, plus, like I said, that stuff right there can't beat it. Now, giant cinnamon. On to the giant cinnamon roll. Oh yeah. Well, they put that together themselves. They pull a bunch of like a pinwheels apart and then rebuild okay. it. And that's a cream cheese glaze ice cream or icing ice cream, not ice cream. Cream cheese glaze icing. Can't right. beat a cinnamon roll. If we have some pork, that'd be plates, awesome. Pork spat. Wow! Thank you. <laughs> is it good? Yeah. About to find out, huh? Oh, it's all chocolate. I'm telling you. All right. So, what is it? It's deep, it's a deep fried brownie. It's brownie batter that's cooked from the fryer. And you act like that's just a normal thing. No. But it's got, <laughs> it's got bacon on top. So a deep fried brownie with chocolate and caramel. ice cream, chocolate bacon, and caramel. caramel, and whipped cream. Huh? Wow. <laughs> I had to bring one big one. <laughs> I hope y'all don't mind that. Here, I'll give that to you. Probably our most popular. i tell you what, Josie, you can... You this is it? outstanding. I am very happy. This is my main man, Bob. He's Hi, Bob. How you doing? Bob, good to meet you. It's been great so far. Good, good. And Josie's killing it. So, time. you like that better than that? Oh, for breakfast, cinnamon roll. We only serve those to 11. See, we, and I'm the new guy, so I work a lot of nights. So. We got special service. We got the cinnamon rolls after 11. I'm gonna awesome. try the cinnamon roll, then I'm gonna try the deep. I work a lot fried. of clothes, so the brownie is more popular at night. We do sell a ton of cinnamon rolls. I've never heard of a deep fried brownie. Neither did I until I came to bucket. All right. <laughs> Ready? All right. You want to compare? I'm gonna eat mine with knife. Ready? Ooh. That's got a state fair written all over it. That is incredible. That is delicious. Deep fried brownie. Never heard of one. It's like something unfair. Uh, I gotta get chocolate, I gotta get the caramel, gotta get everything. Wow. <laughs> Look at <laughs> Wow. That was delicious. So we had the whole farm, which was outstanding. It's pretty much every meat that they smoke in there. But the meatloaf that they say takes six hours to make was incredible. It was on point. And then we finished up with a killer cinnamon roll and a deep fried brownie. Anything deep fried is oh, meat. Delicious. Next to deep fried hash browns, that was outstanding. That was great. Here's one of the trucks we bought several months ago out of that incredible collection up in the Northeast in Pennsylvania. This is a one family owned 1971 350 four barrel truck that has been sitting inside the collection since 1979. Last inspected in 1979. Had not been started, he says, since 1979. So we pulled it in, changed all the fluids, This is a 350 four barrel truck. We did up and lower radiator hose. We did the water pump. We had to do the radiator and we rebuilt the carburetor. And this is a power steering power brake truck. Now listen to this. Yes, it runs. Replace the gas tank, sending unit, shocks, brakes, exhaust, and tires. you some of that. This truck has been sitting for 44 years. Now we have not tried to buff and wax it yet. I think it will, some of the shine will come out. It is original paint. The truck is really straight. Really straight. And what I'm most excited about is I love these trucks. I call them pawpaw trucks. It's a three on the tree. Let's go for a ride. Zach. It's so cool after 44 years we got it running. These are so much fun to drive with a three on the tree. 
I learned to drive on a three on the tree from my grandfather. And oddly enough, it was a 71, it was a Ford truck. This being a 354 barrel is really fun to drive. But what else is really special about this truck, I've had some of my truck friends come by and look at it, is this is a factory Positrack truck. That is very unusual on a two wheel drive truck. Very unusual. It's quiet, it's not smoking, it's not knocking, the gauges are working, it's got good oil pressure. Four barrel kicking in. And this thing will really scoot too. Look at that, that is so much fun. This won't put a smile on your face, I don't know what will. Again, new tires, new shocks, new brakes, new exhaust. So, thanks for watching today. There you go, there's our update. We'll try to do more of them as we get these things back on the road. If you're interested in this truck, send Jonathan an email to social at cbjeep.com. Hopefully soon we'll steam clean the motor, steam clean the chassis, and buff and wax it. And see how it turns out. But for now, it runs and drives great. It is a really neat truck. See you next time.